A warm greeting, today is Friday, October 20, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 8 in the morning in the Lesser Antilles area, where they are preparing for the impact of Tropical Storm Tammy, which is expected to pass very close to or over the region as a Category 1 hurricane during this weekend. A Hurricane Hunter aircraft is currently investigating the system, and they have found that Tropical Storm Tammy has begun to strengthen again. Currently, it has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour or 105 kilometers per hour. Additionally, Tropical Storm Tammy has significantly reduced its westward movement. These are signs that it will soon start turning northwest, as shown in this image. High pressure is located in this area, which is why the center of circulation is now on the southwestern periphery of the high pressure system. This will be what causes the northwestward trajectory, passing very close to or over the Lesser Antilles but quite far east of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. If we look at the infrared satellite animation, we can see that it appears a bit more organized compared to yesterday. However, some wind shear is still affecting the westward circulation, which keeps the low-level circulation displaced to the southwest of the stronger thunderstorm activity. Nevertheless, this wind shear is moderate and would allow for further strengthening as it approaches the Lesser Antilles. In the Doppler radar image from Barbados, we can see the circulation associated with Tropical Storm Tammy. The low-level circulation center is located approximately in this area, but we are seeing a higher vorticity area to the northeast of the center. This might be an indication that the center is repositioning more to the northeast. If the center does indeed relocate, it would be good news for the Lesser Antilles, as it would possibly pass just east of some of the islands, leaving the stronger part over the Atlantic waters. This observation from the Doppler radar image can also be confirmed by the data from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. They found the low-level circulation center near latitude 13.8 degrees north and longitude 58.5 degrees west. However, they also found a mid-level circulation center located further northeast, at approximately latitude 14.4 degrees north and longitude 58.3 degrees west. If the center is repositioning, it would be in a more northeastern position than what the National Hurricane Center projected for noon today. Perhaps this will cause a slight adjustment in the trajectory slightly to the right, which would be good news for some of the islands in the Lesser Antilles. Looking at the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, you can see that the center of circulation is expected to pass closest to the Lesser Antilles during the late afternoon on Saturday, passing just east of the island of Guadeloupe and over the island of Antigua and Barbuda. This is why a hurricane watch is in effect for some islands, including Anguilla, St. Barthélemy, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, and Guadeloupe. Also, a tropical storm warning is in effect, and it is highly likely that this hurricane watch will be modified to a hurricane warning later this morning. Additionally, you can see that the center will remain more than 200 miles east of Puerto Rico and more than 150 miles east of the Virgin Islands, which means that local effects will be limited to increased rainfall activity during the weekend. Let's briefly look at the projections from the best global models. Here, we have the American model, which, in its latest projection, suggests the repositioning of the center more to the right. Therefore, in the early hours of today, it marks a trajectory passing quite far from the Lesser Antilles. Under this scenario suggested by the GFS model, tropical storm winds would remain over the Atlantic waters. However, we also have the projection of the European model, which has a trajectory somewhat more similar to that of the National Hurricane Center, passing very close to Anguilla and Barbuda. Although hurricane winds could remain over the Atlantic, some tropical storm force winds could still affect some islands from Guadeloupe to Anguilla and Barbuda. By maintaining this trajectory just east of the Lesser Antilles, the highest rainfall accumulations may remain over the Atlantic waters. However, between 60 to 100 mm of rain are forecast from Barbados to the northern Lesser Antilles. This could lead to some flooding over the next 72 hours. For the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, between 1 to 3 inches of rain are anticipated over the weekend, especially in the eastern and southeastern parts of Puerto Rico. This is the projection of the GFS model. If it comes a bit closer, as indicated by the European model, the maximum rainfall accumulations could increase to 100 mm by next Sunday across much of the islands of the Lesser Antilles. Nevertheless, for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, the estimates would still be between 1 to 3 inches of rain. Well, that's all for this update. We hope that our followers in the northeastern Caribbean region and the islands north of the Lesser Antilles are preparing for a Category 1 hurricane and significant rainfall that could cause flooding during this weekend. In the afternoon, I will record a new update. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel and subscribe by clicking the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then, click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend.
Until then, goodbye.